Welcome back to my channel. I was going through my feed on YouTube and it started suggesting videos to me about TD Jakes. So I kind of clicked on a couple of those videos to kind of see what they was talking about, see if there was any updates about what was going on in the trial with P. Diddy and Lil Rod and with his name being mentioning. And I was kind of shocked and surprised at some of the videos that I was seeing. I'm going to show them to you and then I'm going to come back and kind of talk about this. Shocked his congregation and viewers across the world when he collapsed and fell down on stage while delivering a powerful sermon. The incident occurred during a packed Sunday service at his church in Dallas, Texas. Witnesses reported that he appeared to stumble slightly before suddenly falling to the ground. Concerned church members rushed to his side as the service was brought to a halt. Initial reports suggest that Bishop Jakes may have suffered from dehydration and exhaustion. The Potter's House, one of the largest and most influential churches in the United States, has recently been rocked by a shocking incident involving its renowned pastor, T.D. Jakes. During a heated argument with some of his followers, things quickly spiraled out of control, as threats were made to set the church on fire if Jakes did not step down from his position, as the leader.The confrontation reportedly began when a group of dissatisfied church members approached Jakes with a list of grievances regarding his leadership style and decision-making. Tensions quickly escalated as voices were raised and accusations were thrown back and forth. Witnesses claim that Jakes remained calm and compassed at first, trying to address their concerns in a diplomatic manner. However, as the situation grew more intense, Jakes began to show signs of distress. It was at this point that things took a horrifying turn. Some of Jake's most ardent supporters, filled with anger and frustration, allegedly threatened to set fire to the Potter's house if their demands were not met. Jake's, visibly shaken by the turn of events, attempted to defuse the situation, but it was too late. The chaos and commotion reached a crescendo, pushing Jake's to his breaking point. In a moment of overwhelming stress and pressure, T.D. Jake suddenly collapsed and lost consciousness. Jake's announced his decision to step down from his role as senior pastor. The renowned preacher and best-selling author expressed a deep sense of lament over this decision, citing a desire to focus on other aspects of his ministry. Well, guys, our most renowned and beloved preacher, T.D. Jakes, has made a shocking confession to his family and congregation. The beloved pastor has admitted to having an affair with one of his church members, sending shockwaves through the community and leaving many in disbelief. In an emotional and candid conversation with his family, Jakes expressed deep remorse for his actions and vowed to step down from his position at his church to save his reputation and protect his family from further shame. I want to first start off by saying I am not a fan of T.D. Jakes, but at the same time, I do not wish any ill on him or on his family. I, as well as other people, see him for what he is as a, when it comes to him being a bishop. He's a false prophet. He doesn't stay right when it comes to doctrine. Some of the things he doesn't discuss in his church, the main topic being sin. His focus is more about tithing and the people in his congregation giving money to him. With all that being said, I still don't agree with people lying on him. Those four videos that I showed you, you can see that they're faceless videos and you can tell by the voice they're made by AI. With that, whoever is running the channel still need to do their research to make sure the information they're putting in front of people, in front of their audience is true. You should not spread lies about a person, regardless of what's going on in their life, even if they're doing bad things. Don't add to those bad things by adding on lies or misleading people or making a situation seem worse than it really is. And that's what they're doing. You know, they're not being responsible with putting information out about him. They're just gathering information Whatever they're sending the AI out to look for and the AI is coming back with information, they just put it together, make a video, and they don't do their research. And I feel that it's not responsible to your audience because now they're getting all this false information. Some people are not going to do research because when I seen it, it kind of shocked me. I'm like, well, I haven't heard this. Let me go look it up. 
and I was, you know, looking for other videos. I was looking for other documents, like in newspapers, uh, other blogs and different things like that to see if this information was true. Everything I kept seeing just led me back to these AI videos when I looked up the information. Some people was real, actually real people, but it was basically reporting the same things to AI. And you notice in those videos, they do not show any evidence. You know, if they're saying he fainted in church, I'm sure someone should have a video of him fainting. Or his team would have said, you know, we had to stop service because he fainted. He, you know, he fell out. He was had to be rushed to the hospital. He's doing okay. You would see some type of document, some type of publication. You would see some type of evidence to back up what they're putting out in front of you. But I couldn't find anything. So why lie on a person just because, you know, it's like kicking a person when he's down. I know it can be easy to believe all this stuff about him based on what everything else that was going on about him being at P, P. Diddy parties and um, him being um, named in the lawsuit with Lil Rod. So it could be easy to add other things on it. And some people would just automatically believe it without doing research. Some people would watch and be like, oh, I don't believe this, but you shouldn't do that. Proverbs 19.5 ESV, a false witness will not go unpunished and he who breathed out lies will not escape. And then Exodus 23.1, you shall not spread a false report. You shall not join hands with a wicked man to be a malicious witness. So as Christians, you know, don't get caught up in seeing these things and then report it without making sure the things that you're putting out there is true. You have some type of evidence or, you know, there's a court filing like with Lil Rod. We don't know how Diddy was going to leverage his uh, relationship with T.D. Jakes, but there is a court filing. There is something that you could say, hey, this is where I got my information from. But they're basically just making up information or they're trusting AI, feeling that AI is going. They might be getting information because if his name is T.D. Jakes, so if there's something going on with somebody that used to work for the church, his name is going to be attached to that. Or if it's something that happened to him about five years ago, if he just say he passed out five years ago, three years ago, then that's going to be out there. But they're speaking as if it happened within the last 30 days that everything they reported that I showed in those videos, they're trying to make it seem like it happened within the last 30 days. So AI is not going to be um, look, really looking to, they're just out there fishing for information and bringing it back to you. As an individual, if that's the type of videos you want to make, faceless videos, if you want to use AI voice and everything, that's fine. But respect the people that you're doing research on by making sure it is um, correct information. And then also respect the people that's tuning in to watch your videos that you're giving them correct information. Proverbs 24, 17 through 18. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls. Do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles. Let the Lord see it and be displeased and turn away his anger from him. When we see things like this on the internet, we also have to be mindful that God is watching us and judging us based on our heart. So we have to always try to do the right thing. So I just want to go ahead and share that with you and I will keep everyone in my prayers.